What's up, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Guys, um, let's, let's talk about this thing that I'm seeing with Asian women and them wanting black men. Now, oh boy. See, um, I never really considered Asian women, but I'm seeing a lot of Asian women literally caping for uh, black men, specifically passport girls. I'm seeing a lot of women of Asian descent and also Latinas, Latinas. I'm seeing a lot of Latinas talking about they want black men now. So, um, there is something to be said about other races of women and them showing their attraction and um, loathing for black men and passport girls. Now, me seeing this kind of content, seeing how these women are literally wanting and begging for basketball bros to come over. It's it's saying something. It's saying something a lot. Phil Scott did a video. Did a video, uh, did a video talking about uh, did a video, and it was an Asian woman basically saying, basically talking about um, their come their we're their second choice, but we're their last choice. Meaning, after we've had our first choice, which is trash, we go and get a dime piece, which is a queen. Asian women are starting to consider, Asian women are starting to see themselves as the prize, and are starting to see that a lot of the things that a lot of the black men in America, and a lot of things that are on YouTube, and I'm not talking about black men as far as talking about them, uh, about black women or women in general in the West, but I'm talking about in in the general of what they're seeing through social media lenses, like TikTok and also uh, YouTube. These women are starting to see that what these men are saying is true. You have very you have married Western women talking about this shit. You have all these races of women and. Where, uh, women of different cultures and different ethnicities saying the same thing. So at some point, you have to look at the fact that you are in the wrong. And quite frankly, a lot of Western women are in the wrong, especially when they start talking about men in general. I just find it funny that the very same women that they're talking about are dirty foot, uh, uneducated, and all this stuff are the very same women that's, that keeps taking your men and also keeps and also keeps um, telling you about how you keep your men over there over here in America and in uh, Canada and Western cultures see they're laying out a blueprint and actually basically giving you a formula that is to show you and to tell you how to keep your men but let's face it a lot of women don't understand how to keep their men and the fact of the matter is men are getting tired of bashing men are getting tired of male hate and honestly I don't I, I'm tired of it too because you're telling me that I'm a bad person but yet you're still fucking with the bad people. And also, you have other women telling you that your women, your men aren't, aren't bad. Our men over here are bad, or not bad. But our women, our men over here are not really something that we want. So we see that your men are coming over here, and they are offering much more, and, we're, and we want them. And they're talking, they're telling you that they want them. So, you need to start looking at the fact that maybe... You are an issue, and uh, your mindset and ideology is the issue for a lot of the reasons why you're still single. But 
already know I'm gonna get some uh, some uh, hating in the comments. So I'm not really gonna really give a fuck about this, but it's just honest truth. Look at the fact of the matter that a lot of you have issues, a lot of you don't understand that you're causing the downfall that you're that you're experiencing. You're causing your men, your man to leave you behind and go on and gonna fight and find another woman and willing to go through the hardship of going overseas, getting a passport, and um, evaluating and vetting these different women to find a find a suitable wife. You can't blame men for going to option or going to plan B or option B when option A has failed. If option A fails, it's due to option A's inability to actually listen and cooperate. And then when option when then we get with option B option B is the best option so you kind of got to look at that fact especially with the Michael B. Jordan situation look at Lori Harvey y'all clowned him for dating a a lot of white women then when he dated Lori Harvey and he starts wanting to marry, wants to marry her after she's been ran through by Diddy, his son fucking um, Future and a whole bunch of other niggas then um then you're talking about she's too young to be getting married. She don't even realize that she's going to lose heavily in the end. Thanks to Steve Harvey and his bullshit. And also Marjorie Harvey and her bullshit. There's no reason why Lori Harvey should be, be a failed option. There's no reason why she should be a failed option with... Michael B. Jordan, especially Michael B. Jordan. She failed, and a lot of option A's in America are failures and are failing. That's the reason why a lot of these men are leaving. But you're going to continue to push that fact, no matter that all of these men are just trash, these men just want to control women. No, a natural, a natural fact is black men do not want to control women. Black men want a better option than what you're providing. And you're getting mad that these black men are going overseas and getting that better option. When in fact, you should have been the better option in the first place. Because we grew up, because you, you birthed us. And also, you are the ones that, are, that were with us during, the, uh, during um, segregation. So at this point, you can't blame black men for this shit. If you failed, it's due to your own, own ideology and mindsets being tampered with by people that don't have anything don't have any consideration for our community that is on you we have our party but mainly that part is on you we get it that there's a lot of uh, bad black men out there but the thing about it is you chose to fuck with those black men and now look at the community but anyways like share subscribe to the channel support the podcast spotify.com i'll see you guys on the flip side thank you guys for listening Bye, guys.